What's up guys and welcome to Ubuntu Lost Videos. Uh, in this video I'm actually going to give you an idea of the security behind Ubuntu. I'm not going to go into too much detail, I'm going to give you a straightforward idea of how it's more secure than other systems. So let's go ahead and begin. What is a virus? A virus is an application that infects your computer and can do things such as take information, such as passwords or even credit card numbers, to deleting files on your computer and just causing straight havoc. Uh, how do we prevent this? In Windows, you have antiviruses, which you have to pay for, and they're very burdensome. You have to always do scans, and it's just, just something you just don't want in your life. Now, how do we install viruses from applications? Uh, you, the internet is very big, and anyone can post an application out there, and when someone's looking for some application, they download it, install it, and they figure out it's a virus and now they gotta get antivirus. Sometimes even if the, the hacker wants to get in your computer they disguise that virus as a music file or an image file or anything that you might you know want or want to click on to open and once you open it it uh, installs on your computer. Now as far as applications go how do we manage it? How do we stop viruses from coming on your computer? In Ubuntu we have a very a managed system called the Ubuntu Software Center. And here we have about 2,200 applications. And each of these applications are virus free, even cost free. They cost nothing to you, no money at all. And uh, we have everything from doing office documents such as Word, presentations, and Excel spreadsheets to uh, sound and video, which is watching and watching videos or listening to sound music or editing that music or editing that video. And we even have graphics such as 3D graphics, editing, and Photoshop-like applications. And of course, games, um, like uh, small games here. And so on. These All of these applications are, again, virus-free and are all the applications you will ever need for anything. In fact, it's all already on your computer. Most people use Office, and it's already installed on there. Most of the time, you don't even have to install anything. Everything is already there. You have a DVD burner and so on. Now, that's how you install it, any application on Ubuntu. In Windows, you actually have to go on the internet. And when you go on the internet, uh, we have to go find some application. And when when you look for the application, uh, you might accidentally download a virus. Um, a lot of the viruses are disguised as legit applications like Microsoft Office. And when you download that application, and you open it, and it's done, you're infected. Now with Ubuntu you don't have to worry about that again because you most of the time don't even have to look for application because all of it is either already installed on your computer or available to you from this safe software center. And that's it. That's the biggest thing with Ubuntu uh, that's secure for applications. With Windows, of course, you can download anything online and uh, you can also download viruses without even knowing. Now application updates. How does this work? Um, Windows, I mean Let's get the idea of application updates. When we're updating applications, what do we do? We either install new features on the application, which is fine, or we update security. Viruses can use applications, any application on your computer, as long as there's a hole in it, and get in your computer. That's why we have application updates, because programmers always find something wrong with the application, and they fix it, and they send you the update. If you don't update it, then some virus somewhere can take advantage of that breach. With Windows, you have to go into every single application, one by one by one by one, to actually update every single application that on your computer, and that's what you need. You need to update every single application to be completely secure. Now, with Ubuntu, we actually do it very simply. You go to System, Administration, Update Manager. This one piece of software updates your whole computer, everything on your computer. You simply check with this button, and after you check, you install the updates, and you're done. In fact, you can even set this to work in the background so you don't ever have to go in here. You can set it to update uh, security in the background. Just go to updates, install security daily without confirmation, and done. And that's how that works. All the applications on your computer are updated, and bam, good. <coughs> and there are no viruses. The viruses that were made to exploit some application are now pointless because you've updated your software. Network security. Uh, when you first open or when you first install Windows, XP, Vista, whatever, 
your computer is open to the public. In fact, you would have to install a firewall or enable your firewall to prevent people from the internet going in your computer because all the doors, the virtual doors on Windows are all open. And basically it's like a house, you don't leave your house open, do you? With Ubuntu, all of those doors are closed. In fact, um, the only way you can communicate, or it's anyone can communicate from the outside, if, is if you give them permission, or if you talk to them first from the inside out. They can't talk to you from the outside in. And that's how that works. So it's a very simple idea, but it's a lot. It's built into the system. You don't need firewalls in Ubuntu. You don't need antiviruses because all of this works together in a very complete way to keep you virus-free. And the last point, multi-user system. Uh, to keep it brief and easy to understand, you when you log in with a name such as Chris or Bob or whatever, you are one user. The idea is that w once you're logged in you can't leave you can't use another user unless you log out and you log in as the other user that's in windows in ubuntu on the other hand when i'm logged in as chris i can use joe or joe's permissions if he has anything that i actually need to use and that's the idea is that if you need to install something you can use the administrative <coughs> user without actually logging in as administrator and windows you actually when you first get windows you're already the first user ever made in Windows is administrative and especially if, if, if this user gets infected then your whole computer is gone I mean depending on what it's being infected by but you can usually call it gone not even some antiviruses can help you there but administrative is a very powerful position and if a virus gets a hold of it your whole computer is basically done and that's how that works um, different users and these four little points actually make a big difference between security and that's the thing, they're very little changes that someone has to make to a system and it just fixes every virus why doesn't Windows do this? why doesn't Mac do this? Mac does the second two parts but the first two they don't actually do, they don't do the updates automatic or the updates through one application or the application management uh, network security they do and the multi-user system they do also because actually Mac is derived from Linux and Ubuntu is a Linux so technically Ubuntu and Mac are very distant siblings like second cousins or something so that's the idea these four little points uh, make a very secure system in fact I haven't had a virus for five years and I've had people around me that have used this and haven't had any problems with viruses either and that's it thank you for watching Ubuntu last videos I hope you found this informative and let me just point out that Ubuntu is not virus free just because it's not popular yet. I've heard this everywhere. Everyone say, oh, you don't have viruses yet because you're not popular. No. No, no, no. Because Mac, Just because Windows got popular and got infected doesn't mean we will. We have a lot better security system in comparison to Windows. I've already explained everything to you. It's not just because we're not popular. It's because we're actually a lot more secure than your fellow Windows users. And that's basically it. Thank you again for watching. And keep uh, subscribing and commenting and all that stuff. I'll see you later.